the Porsche safety car down onto the safety of pit, pit lane, the fielding control of Zach Campbell, and let's get green flag racing underway here. As already side by side, here comes the challenge from the 777 of Pedro Sanchez Alpert. They're going three wide in the background as well, down in towards turn number one, pop of smoke. Zach Campbell all the way into turn one. We've got a calamity though, Lewis, as you see at the background of the shot, looks like, I think Brian Carey has already spun around. That is exactly not how anyone wanted this race to begin. Back down onto the safety of pit lane, leaving the green flag in the hands of Farney, the flag man. This time, it's a little bit cleaner. And as you can see on the left-hand side of the screen, drivers getting onto the button. Yeah, and, uh, this, this type of car in open wheel is war. This is chaotic. And that's Andre trying to get around the outside of the nine. He gets on through, but Treno defends from Chin. That forces him off the track at the bus stop. Can he avoid the wall? No, he doesn't. Yeah, we'll need to take a second look at that and see what happens. But absolutely catapulted into the sky. And that's what we're going to see some of these drivers doing, potentially not making overtakes. Oh, we've got carnage again. Carnage again. Adam Crane, uh, the number 92 as well of Janssen. This is carnage once again, and the caution is back out. Walton's on the black mark tire, so the car's on the alternate choice, which gives you a bit more grip, but does wear increasingly fast. You can see Espity and Valverde on the button down across the pitch straight. They almost make it three wide, but the 381 has a tuck in behind his teammate for now. Espity slots on through. Split strategies now, and as we work lap, si lap 16, excuse me, Zach Campbell should be down onto pit road in just a couple of laps. The question is, does he take the reds? Does he take the blacks? What's happened to Zach Campbell? We just saw him come through shot there. What? He's got a no front wing on a part of it. Oh my goodness. And there is damage on the 15. Watch the onboard shot here as the hands snap to the side as he tries to hang on to the number 15 machine down onto pit road, and Campbell will be there for several more minutes. Where is Hearth in comparison? Right behind, so a lander might have cycled back into the net race lead. The finished driver for Kova Esports. Well, this is a critical point of the race for Valtteri Alanda. Every single lap he can keep Johan Half at bay is laps that he will not need to fight back later in the race. I think you, you can't do that, I think, if you're a lander here, because you know who we got set slightly wide through the penultimate corner. The Frenchman supremely confident on the red mark tires and up into the race lead as Alanda tries to defend. You can see a slight chuckle there from the 77. He's I think enjoying this fun battle. Yeah, indeed, because the faster you go, the more unstable it gets. Is dropping into pit lane with the teammate of Johan Hart. I think it might have just cost him the lead as Valtteri Alanda for Kova should get this done into T1. Down as well. Yeah, they should be able to get to the checkered flag from this point as they come into pit lane. There's crash on the start finish straight. Oh my goodness me. That is enormous. Plenty of cars oh, involved. Part of today's action, which I'm sure might have changed things as Phil Krause and Adam Blocker and Albert all on the push to pass as we exit the S section towards the inner loop. Oh, I don't think this is going to work out for Krause. Our tower is lit up like a Christmas tree. There's a pop of smoke in front. That's Javi Ross who's parked in the grass. Uh, from the young American around the outside of Adam Blocker. Blocker's now got to look backwards as Albert's going to also try and fight his way through. Yao Vaz as well is really, really close. It was looking great for Adam Blocker about five laps ago. Now not so much. Dropped another position. Seconds about as good as it's going to get because I just don't think even if now, even if at the earliest point, even when he first got there, if Kraus got through, there was no way he was catching Valtteri Lander around the outside though at the heel. That's fantastic. Arth was sideways coming over the crest of the hill. The 19 car tries to stick it around the outside of turn eight, deep under the brakes. And the 19 machine up into second place. And uh, a fight in their way round as we focus back on Adam Blocker as there's contact and away he's gone with Domingo. Here, Blocker gives him just enough space. He is all over the inside curb as well there, as you can see. It is oh so difficult to run too wide through this portion of the corner. And victory here today will taste oh so sweet as for the first time in his IndyCar career, Valtteri Alander takes victory in round one of the ISO WC 2021 season. For Kova Esports, the celebration will begin. Round one in the 2021 ISO WC season goes to the 77. Victor by almost 10 plus seconds from Phil Krause in the number 19. Krause started on the outside of the front row. He had to fight for that finish, but he'll be very delighted with how the race played out. The Frenchman Johan Haar, the yeah, racing rallycross world champion, rounds out the podium on a day that Apex Racing Team would have been hoping for a little bit more.